How we doing today, YouTube? Deesky from Deesky Grills back with another cooking video. And today, we are cooking a standing rib roast, rotisserie style, on the Weber 22-inch Performer Kettle. Folks, I'm so happy and want to start off by telling you guys happy holidays. Going to try to get this posted before the end of the year. This is Christmas Day. So on Christmas, we are always blessed to be able to get a standing rib roast, get that baby out on the grill, spinning around, hit it with a little bit of smoke flavor. But I'm going to show you the ingredients we're going to use for this roast today. We're coming first with fresh garlic. We will poke in this roast and plug it with fresh garlic. We're going to come back with the It's Incredible for a base coat. We're going to follow that up with the black seasoning. Now, the black seasoning is a mixture of coffee and different herbs and spices. Absolutely awesome on roast. Also, folks, we are coming back with a host of herbs that we're going to coat the outside of this baby. From there, we'll go out to the Weber 22-inch performer, get that rotisserie set up, and you're going to watch this baby baste in its own juices, dropping those juices down into a pan that will have carrots and potatoes in it. Let me tell you, folks, it's going to be an absolute treat. The star of the show is a 10-pound standing rib roast. So you know what we'll do. I'll take you to the cutting board. I'll show you step-by-step step how we're going to season. Then I'll take you outside, show you step-by-step step how we're going to set up that rotisserie. And finally, we will meet at the cutting board, checking out the most awesome holiday roast that you've ever seen. I want to thank you as always for joining me, and let's get cooking. Okay, folks, we are at the cutting board. As you can see, we are cooking up some awesome USDA Prime standing rib roast today. This is a four-bone baby. Check it out. One, two, three, and four. Got it from Costco. Picked it up about a week ago, just put it in the freezer, and then I took it out two days ago to let it thaw, okay? So really excited about making this baby. We'll get it opened up real quick. I'll let you see it. And then what we're gonna do is just listen to some tunes. I'm gonna move this to the side, drain, drain some of it. All right, and then we'll bring it into the frame. But what we have, folks, is one beautiful standing rib roast, okay? We have a wonderful fat cap on top. I will trim down just a little bit. We want to keep most of that fat because think about it. While it's spinning on that rotisserie, this stuff will be basting itself in its own juices. All right. So here she is, USDA Prime. Look at that baby. Tons of marbling. You know it's going to be awesome. So what we'll do is, is check out some tunes for a little bit. I'll let you guys see me prepping this thing. And next thing you'll see is us out there at the uh, Weber 22-inch performer getting this baby set up. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so we're going to cut fresh garlic, we're going to peel, and then all we're going to do is stuff our roast with this fresh garlic, okay? That's going to infuse this awesome, awesome rib roast with that garlic flavor. All right, so here we are. I'm going to just poke a hole. Good. I'm not sure about that. And in that hole, we'll go a piece of garlic, okay? This is what we want to do throughout. So we'll plug a hole. Stuff garlic. Okay, so we'll do this throughout the entire roast, making sure that we have this evenly spread throughout because we want this to soak down inside the roast while it's cooking. So just wanted to show you that. We'll get back together in a little bit when it's time to start doing the seasoning process. I'll see you guys in a bit.
Okay, folks, so we are outside with the Weber 22 and a half inch performer. Here's our grill setup for today. I have a chimney right here that we're gonna go ahead and get fired up. Once this baby ash is over, we're gonna pour the hot coals into the small char baskets that come with the kettle, okay? These are perfect for when you're doing rotisserie style. Why? Because you have one on each side with your awesome piece of meat right in the middle spinning right here, getting that indirect cooking throughout the whole process. Now, on the bottom, we're gonna put a pan of potatoes, carrots, and things like that with a little bit of a roux so we can make a nice gravy for our roast, okay? So that's what's gonna go in the center. But for now, let's go ahead and get this baby fired up. And once it ashes over, uh, like I said, we'll go ahead and get that poured into our char baskets over here. Okay, so before we do that, let me show you exactly how our setup's gonna be, okay? So both sides are lit. We have our rotisserie accessory. I bought this thing maybe 10 years ago, folks. This thing is so awesome for turning your kettle into a rotisserie cooker. All right, so we have that in place. That is just the uh, expansion part of it, right? You would come right back with your spit. So our spit will go in here. Here's our motor. I'll bring you on this side and show you that. Okay, so the motor will go right in here on the bracket. We will push our spit right on through into this motor. And I already have our juice right here. I'll let you hear it turn on. Okay, that baby is on. Now, we'll have an awesome rib roast right here spinning. Okay, we'll get this baby out in a minute once it's time to add it. And I'm so excited about this cook, folks. Again, this is Christmas Day using the copper 22 and a half inch Weber Performer. What an awesome treat for today. Standing rib roast on d -Ski Grills. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, folks, we are back. We are pretty much ashed over now, so we're gonna go ahead and add our hot coals to the unlit coals. Let's get some here first. All right, we'll come on this side and get this one. So honestly, we're looking for around 250 to 300, okay? That's, that's pretty much what we're shooting for for this cook. See if we can't get them all in place here. There and they'll cook down, of course, once they start ashing over. What I definitely want is for them not to fall on top of our uh, our carrots and potatoes and everything. So, okay, so that's in place right there. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and add our awesome. There we go. Okay, so these will just continue to cook. Look at that, folks. That is straight amazing, right? Let's go ahead now and put our um, our uh, rotisserie in place. So I'll back it up a little bit, make sure you guys can see everything. Mm, my family's having a good time today. It's a great day. All right, so we'll have that in place. Make sure we get it seated right. Okay, maybe I'll move you on this side so you can see everything better. Okay, we'll put our motor in place. And now I'll go get the roast. Okay, folks, here's the star of the show. Look at this beautiful rib roast. Okay, we're gonna get this in place. What I wanna do is go right off into the motor. Oh man, this thing worked out great. Look at that. This is what it's all about, okay? We'll go ahead now, turn it on, okay? And then we'll get the lid on it, shut it down, and we'll get back together after about an hour or so. But as you can see, folks, we are ready to go here. Let's get that motor started while we're together. Okay, and she is off. Here is our awesome standing rib roast. Made on Christmas Day, folks, on D-Ski Grills. We have our carrots, potatoes, and onions down on the bottom. We have an awesome um, wine inside of our, um, our gravy mixture, okay? So I put a little wine, water, 
flour and seasoning, stirred all that up and poured it in. That's the liquid you see. All we're gonna do now is start getting special drippings from that awesome roast put right inside of this beautiful, beautiful uh, roast and potatoes. My family's having a good time in the back, so if you hear that extra chatter, that's what it's about. I'll get the lid put on, and then we'll get back together, like I said, in a couple of hours. This is the setup. See you guys in a few hours. Okay, folks, we are back. We are about 45 minutes into this cook. I want to open it up for the first time so we can check out how this baby's coming along. I'm showing around 420 on the dial here. Let's get this baby open. And look at that, folks. Look at that. How beautiful is that? This baby is marinating, like I said, in its own juices. You're starting to see pullback. We have plenty fire going on, okay? So our char baskets are doing their job as well. All right, let me show you that. Okay, so we got more time to cook. Let's head over and look at this side. All right, and as you can see, our roast looks absolutely divine. All right, folks, I'm going to get it shut back down. We'll get back together in another 45 minutes, see how this baby is coming along. But as you can see, it is nothing but goodness. Catch you in a bit. Okay, folks, we are back. We are about 30 more minutes into this cook. Let's take a look and see how this baby is coming along. Look at that, folks. Look at that beautiful crust we've achieved. This baby is cooking up right, okay? We have the flame that you see is because I dropped in two pieces of hickory. I wanted to add a little bit of smoke towards the end of this cook, but you can see we have a beautiful color working here. This thing is cooking straight indirect. Those juices are going right down into our gravy. Do you see that? This is what I'm talking about. All we're gonna do at the end is give this a mix and y'all, we're gonna have some heaven down there. So hopefully our potatoes are getting tender, which I'm, I'm sure they are, because we have such good heat working down on the bottom. So I'll get it shut back down, get back with you guys next, and we'll start checking internal temps. See you guys in a bit. Okay, folks, we are back. We are about two hours into this cook. The grill is at around 350 degrees. I'm gonna remove the lid. Let you see what we have going on. Everything looks amazing. We still have plenty of fuel in our char basket, so let me show you that real quick. So we are cooking up really nicely. These baskets are doing good, and they're just perfect for rotisserie cooking. That's what these things are good for. So I keep them around strictly for that. Okay, you can see we're getting pulled back on our roast. It's looking absolutely amazing. I'm gonna stop it and go ahead and start checking some internal temps. So let me move this back just a bit. Make sure you guys can see what we have going on and we'll give it a check. So I'm gonna stop it once it gets towards the top here. Okay, in the middle here, we're at, looks like 92, 93. So we have a little ways to go here. I'm gonna check this corner here. So our edges are coming along really good. We're at about 127. Okay, so we're getting there, folks. This baby is coming along. Juices are flowing. This thing's going to be magnificent. We're at 107 right there. Hopefully, you can see that. So we got a little bit longer to go. We're going to let this baby just keep on cooking, and then we'll get back together once we get closer to about 145 degrees. That's the point we're going to peel this baby off, let it rest, and then we're going to cut into a magnificent standing rib roast. Awesome pullback. Beautiful crust. Garlic. Can you imagine this garlic melting and just adding this flavor? Can't wait to show you guys the final product. See you a little bit later. Okay, folks, we are back. It has been three hours later, and it is time to bring this magnificent roast in. Let's check it out and see how she's looking. Look at that beautiful bark. Folks, this is what it's all about. You have an awesome crust. On the inside, it's going to be moist and tender. This garlic has been inside just infusing this baby with flavor. I'm going to bring you closer and let you see the potatoes and carrots and onions. Okay, we have an awesome, awesome gravy base down there that we're just gonna spin, turn around when we bring it inside the house and you can see the consistency of it, okay? Now, we did really good with these char baskets. I am so proud of them. They did a great job on this cook. So both of them really, really lasted for this whole three hours. I only added a few more briquettes uh, halfway through the cook. But I'm telling you, this thing is gonna be amazing, folks. So let me put it down, let you see this baby spin one more time. So what we'll do next is I'll meet you guys at the cutting board and we will check out the final product of our awesome standing rib roast made on the 22 inch Weber Copper Performer using the rotisserie accessory. Awesome cook.
Meet you guys inside. Okay, YouTube, we are back checking out the final product of our awesome standing rib roast made on the 22 inch Weber Performer. Folks, this has been an awesome cook. We use the Weber rotisserie accessory to spin this 10 pound prime rib roast. This is a four bone rib roast that spent around cooking on this awesome grill today. I'm so excited. This is Christmas day. So this won't be posted till closer to New Year's, but I just had to get this cooked, captured on film so you guys can see just how awesome a standing rib roast can be on your Weber kettle. Now, this thing has been sitting here for about 10 minutes now. You can see the juices are flowing already. That's what it's all about, okay? So the rest time is very important. It gives those juices time to distribute back into the meat. So that's where your tenderness comes in. Now I'm gonna move this to the side real quick. And I wanna show you the veggies that we got from just letting those babies stay down there. Look at this. You tell me the Weber didn't do its job. These things look absolutely amazing. I'm gonna get a spoon real quick and we can check them out. So we're gonna move these around. I just wanna show you what we got here. Look at this, folks. Look at this wonderful broth we have to pour on top of our rib roast and also just to pour on top of our potatoes. This thing looks straight divine, okay? This is what it's all about. I'm gonna grab one carrot and just kind of show you the tenderness. So look at this right here, done through and through. Mm. Snook me a taste test in. I'll show you the potatoes real quick, same thing, okay? Look at that folks, done through and through. This is gonna be amazing. Let me drop these back off, they're still hot. Okay, we'll move this to the side. Next up is the star of the show, our beautiful standing rib roast. What I'm gonna do first is go ahead and remove our prongs. So we let it cool. All right. Let's slide off this magnificent piece of meat today. Oh my God, look at the juice flowing from this thing. Okay, so we have that there, sitting there, ready to be cut on. Okay, so what did we do, folks? We seasoned this with the black seasoning. We seasoned it with the It's Incredible. We came back with herbs and spices and put those all on the outside. We let this baby spin on the performer. It cooked for about three and a half hours until we reached an internal temperature of 145. That is a medium temperature that we were trying to achieve. We're gonna go ahead and cut our butcher's twine first. And after that, we're gonna cut into this magnificent roast. Look at this. I'm telling you folks, I am excited about this one. Okay, I'm gonna move it over. Goodness gracious, it's falling off the bone. Look at that folks, it's falling off. Oh my goodness. So you know it's tender. You just know this thing is so tender. It's peeling apart. I love it. I just love it. Okay, so what we'll do now is go ahead and cut into this baby and close this video out. All right, immediately just from just from nibbling on this crust and stuff, folks, I taste the awesome herbs that we have. I taste the garlic. All right, here we go. Let's enjoy this together. We're going right down this bone. My goodness, look at this thing. Oh my God, look at this, folks. Look at that beautiful medium well. Look at the juices, okay? This thing is absolutely amazing. The crust, the black seasoning is on point. I'm telling you folks, this is something special for Christmas Day or anytime. I'm gonna take a piece and we can close this video out. Oh, look at that. With this crust, come on, come on. This is butter. Mmm, 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 mmm. Absolutely amazing. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe to my channel. Let others know what D-Ski Grills is up to. And as always, at D-Ski Grills, grilling is not a pastime, it's a passion. This standing rib roast would not last long around this household. I wanna wish you all a happy holidays. Stay safe out there. I'll catch up with you guys on the next video.